In this video, we'll show you the difference between being a victim of a zero-day attack such as WannaCry and not being one. First, we'll take a look at WannaCry's high capacity for spreading and infecting both within an organization's network and outside of it using the Eternal Blue Entry Vector. We will then show how Panda Adaptive Defense and its unique security model is the only defense against any kind of known or zero-day attack, blocking all unknown or untrusted processes from running. Now let's take a look at WannaCry at the height of its propagation by way of lateral movements on the internet. We'll begin by looking at two network-connected computers with Windows 7 installed, both protected by a traditional antivirus and not by adaptive defense. We launch the Process Explorer in the two computers to monitor processes. We'll also monitor network traffic on the device that contains the infection. The victim device is not connected to the internet, only the local network. We run WannaCry on the infecting device, and immediately afterward we see how it runs through IP addresses on the local network and exterior networks until it finds one with the 445 port open, from which it establishes a connection and uses the Eternal Blue exploit to spread. Here we see a number of connections successfully established. The spread is exponential. We immediately identify the presence of WannaCry on the victim device, specifically the activity generated from the LSAS processes. Great. Now we're infected. The original infector ends up encrypted after mere seconds. On the victim device, the encryptor is released. It runs its course, and the computer is compromised, completely encrypted. Now we'll take a look at how Panda Adaptive Defense and its protection model is able to stop the attack by not allowing any process to run that has not been confirmed as trusted by Panda. Again, we'll start with two network-connected computers, this time, one of them will be protected with Panda Adaptive Defense and without any internet connection. We check to make sure that no signatures have been updated after May 11th, one day before the attack, so we are indeed simulating a zero-day attack. We launch WannaCry on the infecting device and check that it is running. Shortly after, we watch it attempt to compromise a computer protected by Adaptive Defense. Panda Adaptive Defense blocks the LSAS process from running as it is untrusted. The attacker will not be able to follow through with the attack on the computer protected by adaptive defense. If we analyze what happens on the attacking computer, we see that it runs through a whole range of IPs as it searches for computers with an open 445 port, then establishes a connection with the computer protected by Panda Adaptive Defense using the external blue exploit. Finally, the attacking device gets infected while the device protected with Panda Adaptive Defense does not. Whether or not you fall victim to the next zero-day attack is up to you. Panda Adaptive Defense want to save you.